What is going on everybody and welcome to a gameplay video. We attempted to stream this deck a little bit earlier today and unfortunately ran into some stream issues so I thought I would do a bit of a shorter just recorded video of us hanging out and playing just a few games with this really really awesome Winota combo deck. Uh, the idea is that Winota uh, which is an absolutely powerhouse of a card from Akoria we have seen this a number of times in standard uh, it did fall in and out of favor at one point uh, so we're, we're kind of seeing it run back and the reason being we do have Blade Historian now from Strixhaven which you can get off of Winota uh, and essentially gives all of your attacking creatures double strike which just allows for some really really incredibly powerful plays and some incredibly easy wins uh, if you just hit it right off the bat. So uh, the idea of this deck is really quite simple. It's to protect with Selfless Savior, ramp into Winota, and then attack in with things like Gilded Goose, with the Carry Added, with Cobra, with Professor here, uh, and then essentially hit things like Spellbinder, Vossary's Lieutenant, Kenrith, or the Blade Historian itself to hopefully just finish off the game. Uh, we do run a nice even 24 lands, and because we have that nice Professor in the, uh, in the main board, we actually get to sideboard quite a number of different lessons here. The biggest one is Basic Conjuration. I love this card. This allows you to search the top six cards of your deck, find a creature card, and put it into your hand, uh, and then essentially gain three life as well, which is just really, really convenient. We do have a couple of other things like Pest Summoning just to give us an extra creature uh, that can hit the Winota. We've got a Start from Scratch for pesky artifacts and things like that. Reduce is just a nice little catch-all academic probation, uh, just again as a bit of a catch-all, and then Introduction to Prophecy just to be able to scry to and then draw a card uh, for a nice little cheap spell. So lots of really cool stuff in this deck. I love this one. We're going to give it just a couple of games here, probably only like two or three. I'm not going to do a ton because again, we did stream it, but we didn't really get very far, unfortunately. Uh, thanks to some network issues. So if you do want to see those games, what is up is uh, over on our Twitch channel. I do appreciate it. If you would uh, go follow us there, go watch the content. Um, it was a really fun time, honestly. A uh, bit of an odd hand, but I will keep. We do have a turn to Lotus Cobra or Carry Added, uh, and we'll see what works. It'd be great to get another Fable Passage with this, uh, but we did not. So we're going to go for the guaranteed turn to play to hit the forest, which we will need. Uh, Robber of the Rich, yep. That's frustrating uh, because they will get to steal some of our stuff, but we will make our way around it. We will see what we can do. Uh, this is a nice little turn three Winota though, uh, if, we can, if we can hit what we need to hit. So let's see what we can do. Um, I'll play the Lotus Cobra, I think. It uh, doesn't really matter which one we play. Uh, chances are they're going to try and shock it anyway. Um, and in this case, I guess not, which is great. Uh, so they do hate, hit the uh, Spellbinder here. I'm not going to take the trade. And it is Winota time. Uh, so this allows us to get our fourth mana. We get to throw the Winota down. I am going to go ahead and attack here, despite it just being straight into an Anax, and we get the Blade Historian, which does mean that uh, if they do decide to block, it's going to kill the Anax. I mean, it does trade. Uh, so let's see what happens. Let's see what they decide to do. I'm just going to take it. Fair enough. You took it. I like it. Let's try. Let's see what happens. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, curious to see if they just attack in with everything or how they do this. Uh, I mean, if they attack in with Anax, yeah. Uh, let's see, could they, they can't do too much this turn. I'm just gonna say no blocks. I'm gonna say no blocks. I'm gonna take it. We'll see how this actually pans out. <laughs> Not very, well. Why did they do that? I'm curious. That's a little weird. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they did that. That didn't really work to their favor. Um, should have maybe played the Lotus Cobra first there, but it's fine. Uh, we'll play this. We'll play this. And we'll just attack in. Uh, yeah, we'll hit the Bossary's Lieutenant. Uh, we'll put the counter on Winota to hit that double strike, and that's the win. That is the deck. That's what we're trying to do. 
that was great. A uh, little worried about taking so much damage on that one turn, but I think it worked out. Obviously, it wasn't terrible. So let's go ahead and jump into game two. If they do go that quickly, what we'll probably do is hit three or four games uh, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, again, this is supplemental, unfortunately, to the stream. We've been having some, as you can see, some network issues. So here we are. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully this isn't reoccurring, uh, but it might be. It might be, guys. It's happening. All right. Oh, there we go. Wait, there we go. All right, well, we got a pack to open. We got mastery. Let's do all that real quick. Let's see what we get. It's weird doing this and not streaming, I'll be honest. Uh, Culling Ritual, very cool card. I think one that I was a little overhyped on initially, uh, but it is a very cool one. Okay, do do this. Uh, it is a very cool card. I think it's sideboard mostly, but I do think it's quite good. Uh, all right, let's jump into our game two and see how we do. Uh, I absolutely love this deck. I do think Winota uh, being back in standard is awesome because Winota is just so powerful. Um, you do have to be careful because they're... I think the what happens more often than not is that because you're only triggering it once or twice, you can oftentimes whiff, uh, which is a bit bad, obviously. Uh, but it is what it is, so... Uh, nice little hand here. It's not super exciting, um, but I'll just lead on this, uh, and that way we can hold off since this does come into play untapped regardless. We can kind of plan on whatever we need to. Looks like the Death Touch deck, uh, which is an interesting one, I'm not going to lie, uh, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, going to Lotus Cover here. Uh, chances are they will either fight this off or just attack in and like hit us for one. Um, sure. No attacks. Uh, interesting. I would have taken the free attack, but I guess that's their decision. Um, I guess we'll go. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, to be honest. Um, so we have a couple options here. We can Bossery's Lieutenant, uh, which is quite good. Or we can Spellbinder plus Selfless Savior, which is also quite good. Um, because this is a bit of a, a mana intensive deck, I'm actually going to go this route. Um, now the carry added is definitely a consideration as well. Just making sure that we can, uh, yeah, I'm going to take the fin, making sure that we can hit our turn four play, but I, uh, I like being able to get aggressive in the air with the spellbinder here. It does hasten the clock. Uh, and if we can hit a Winota or something along those lines later on, uh, that would be great. Uh, sure. All right, uh, they've got a handful of lands with a, uh, a, br a blizzard brawl here, uh, which is fine. They are going to try and fight some stuff off, I am sure. Uh, yeah, so we're going to take this. Does mean they draw a card, I know, but uh, it does give indestructible until the end of the turn. So I think that's worth it. Um, yeah, I think that's worth it. It just means that they're going to have to fight it again. Uh, and being that this is a flying threat, they really do have to get this off the board at some point here. Foretold a card. I wonder what that is. I'm not actually sure. Uh, okay. We're going to go here. We're going to get the green. I am going to go ahead and play the carry added here. The reason being, uh, we desperately need red for if we draw Winota. Uh, and so having that carry added down just allows for that. Now, having the Bossery's Lieutenant is great, but it's an also just a nice follow-up play regardless of what we draw. So I don't feel terrible about just playing this out, uh, and we'll see how this kind of pans out here. But I think just having the carry added allows more opportunity uh, for follow-up draws. So we'll see if it works. We'll see. I have hope. <laughs> All right. Uh, they didn't play the fin. Um, just going to take the damage, obviously. That's fine. There is the red source, uh, which we will just go ahead and play. And we'll play the Bossery's Lieutenant. We'll 
where do I want to put the counter? Um, I'm going to put it here. Uh, we can just play another boss Reese lieutenant also, which is quite nice. I'm going to throw that counter, I think, here as well. I'm just going to attack with both here. Don't plan on blocking with either one. Now that we've got the lieutenants down, we have a block for the Chevelle. Uh, and taking one a turn, not the end of the world. We do have to worry about that fin coming down. Uh, but we are in a nice little race situation where we might be able to just outclass them anyway. Uh, and so I'm all too happy to just kind of throw this damage out. Uh, it'd be great, honestly, if we just hit like a blade history or, uh, yeah, the, the blade historian that gives double strike. Cause then we can play it off of the carry edit, uh, and we can just start attacking in with everything and providing everything with that double strike. And then we're kind of just sitting pretty at that point. So we will see. We've got quite a lot of live draws, I think at this point, which is ideal. That is what you are trying to set up. So great card for sure. Vengeful Reaper. Fantastic. Uh, just having a flyer against our Spellbinder is obviously very clutch for them. Uh, curious to see what they do here. Okay. So they do get to kill that, which does proc our, our lieutenants, though, uh, to give us a couple of 2-2s, two and that's exactly why we put it there. We knew that was going to be the target. Putting the counters there not only allows us to get in extra damage, but also makes sure that uh, we, we get access to those 2-2 two -two knights. <clears throat> and again, if we hit Winota off the top, we are just going to be procking four times i believe which is very good so we will see okay uh not super exciting if i'm honest uh so the question becomes do we attack in or do we just wait i think honestly we just wait um i'm gonna hold on to the fabled passage as well it just we don't need a ton of land for this deck to operate we're top decking anyway at this point we really just want to be able to maybe hit off the Lotus Cobra or something like that uh, for a Kenrith, um, or just be able to play out that Winota and hopefully take down the game. Okay. I mean, hey, they are doing a lot of damage to us, no doubt about it. Uh, and Finn is a tricky one. Oh, Unfortunately, not the card we need. We are just not hitting the stuff that we need here, unfortunately, at all. Um, so what do we do is the question. Uh, I do think we start... It doesn't seem very good, honestly. I'm going to cancel the attack. I don't think that that's correct. I mean, we can give one indestructible, but that doesn't seem great. The, the trick is here, we are going to just lose in two turns if we don't draw something. Uh, so we, we really need to at some point, but we'll see. Yep. That hits four more poison counters, which does mean, again, a turn away from a loss here. So hopefully, hopefully we can get through it. Oh, we really need a good card off the top. We really need Winota or the, the Blade Historian. That would be ideal. And that is not it, unfortunately. So I am just going to go ahead and concede there. That was just unlucky drawing. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. I don't think we played terribly wrong. I could have sequenced things maybe slightly different, but uh, given that we had just drawn a bunch of land, we were just going to be playing everything out anyway. Uh, so I think that's okay. Again, server running very slowly today. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's jump into game three. Depending on how long this one lasts, this might be the last game, uh, but I do appreciate you guys watching this. Again, I apologize that the stream has been such an issue lately. Uh, I certainly hate that, but we're going to do the best we can. Uh, what do we have here? This is a nice little keep, actually. Uh, we've got the Selfless Savior, we've got the Goose, and we've got the Elite Spellbinder. This seems quite nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with this. We are going to Guild a Goose first. Uh, we'll play that selfless savior most likely at the following turn and then turn three we can drop Winota and hit him for some damage. Wow, okay. Maybe not. Uh, that does change the plan slightly. We still get to play the selfless savior this turn and now we just have a nice three with the spellbinder. Um, or we don't. Okay. <laughs> sure. Fair enough. Uh, they may just take the spellbinder here to take us off that turn three play. Um, Winota is very important for us, but obviously, no. Okay. 
Uh, well, we may be playing the Spellbinder into just a huge hand of removal, which is not ideal. Uh, we could play the Lotus Cover, but I actually don't think we need to. Let's go ahead and play this. Let's Spellbinder, and let's, let's take a peek under the hood. Let's see what they got going on. Okay. Um, well... Huh, what do we take here? Both of these are obviously terrible for us, uh, though Elspeth's Nightmare, not quite as bad. It does hit the Selfless Savior, but I think we take Lily. Uh, Liliana is a huge problem card, obviously. Um, what this does allow us to do, honestly, is attack in here. If they want to trade, they can. I doubt they are, but we're going to get that extra damage off for sure before they use that uh, Elspeth Ni Elspeth's Nightmare to take out the Selfless Savior. We also get to sack it just to provide the Spellbinder with uh, a little bit of indestructibility here. Um, go ahead and do that. Um, and there we go. Alright, uh, so let's do this. Go ahead and throw this out. Um, doesn't actually matter what color we pick here. Just pick white. Throw the carry at it out. And now we just uh, start attacking in with this Spellbinder. Uh, honestly, very worried though. On turn four, they do get to just play their own Winota, essentially. Um, which is scary. Very, very scary. So this is the turn. They can turn Valky into Winota. Um, granted, they're not going to proc like we are. Uh, but... That's still a very scary sentiment, is it not? Uh, so we'll go ahead and pass here. Hit that four, that's fine. Oh man, we're just going to be drawing lands again, aren't we? Uh, just going to attack in. Nothing else to do. We do still want to play to the out of Kenrith, so I am going to play the land here. Uh, just to make sure we have the lands out. Honestly, holding on to it is perfectly fine as well, because we have the Lotus Cobra out. I'm not expecting it to stay out. Um, I'm very much expecting them to, to start killing off some of our stuff here. Uh, and so, uh, I kind of like the idea of just playing the lands out as we can to hopefully naturally get there. Okay. Uh, Rankle is very good. It does trigger the Winota, but I don't know if they actually have anything that that matters for, to be honest. Uh, nope. Obviously not. Um... Not going to do anything there. I'm going to go ahead and gain the three life from that. Uh, we get a Gilded Goose. Lovely. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in. I'm going to play the Gilded Goose. Uh, little worried because next turn they can actually just play the Lily, uh, which is going to take out something here. Um, but we'll see. They are at four life. I mean, they do have to be somewhat careful. Uh, but they've got plenty of options, I am sure. They did not draw off of Rankle. I'm sure not to, or to allow us not to draw a card is the idea there. Curious as to what, I guess they just hit odd. Yeah. Okay. I'm gaining as much life as we can. <laughs> uh, here they may make us sack a creature. The Winota is not doing a ton for them. Um, no, they're still not going to do it. That does mean Blade Historian is still a live draw. Uh, unfortunately, that land is not. <laughs> so, we attack in. They can kill us next turn. Yep. Uh, so, if, uh, they rankle and make each player draw a card, we lose. Interesting to see if they actually had any humans in their deck. I guess probably not, right? So if they do this right, we're just dead right now. No, they could have made us lose. I cannot believe that. Missed opportunity. I mean, we're still going to die. Oh, they just kill us with Lily. Okay. They could have made us lose anyway, but that's fine. Uh, all right. Because that was a quick one, we're going to do one final game, guys. I do appreciate you uh, hanging out and watching this. This has been a really fun deck. Um, lots of really cool stuff in standard now with Strixhaven hitting. Got a lot of great deck ideas that I want to try out, but I uh, just thought I would start here with the uh, one of the more popular little combos that's going on right now. Um, 
So let's see what we can do. Let's see how we can get this going. Hopefully we can get one other win here with this deck against Jingles 8,200, 8, 8,200, however you want to say it. Uh, do we keep this? I think we do, but it is a little awkward. I'm not going to lie, um, but I think it's worth keeping. Uh, to not have to go down on mana is always a, a really nice little thing, so we're going to do this. Green black could be the death touch deck again. Or this could be the combo deck, and I think it is the combo deck. Uh, obviously going to get a green source here so we can start playing our hand. Sure. Uh, I'm not super familiar with the combo. I do know of it, and I kind of know how it works, but uh, it's certainly not something that I am super well versed on playing the lotus cobra because we did draw a land so if we do draw a winota we can just play it out uh which is exactly what we want so we'll see if it works sure not gonna not gonna trade here um we did not draw the winota so let's do this uh let's go for green we're going to play the carry added and we're going to play the professor. And the reason being this does hopefully get us with basic conjuring. This theoretically is going to get us the uh, Winota that we need. And we now have three creatures out that will proc the Winota if we can get it. So scary, scary, scary. Nope. Gonna take it. Uh, I'm assuming next turn they can just win. I'm not 100% sure. Again, I I don't want to say that for sure because I just don't know exactly how that deck is going to function, but it's a very cool combo. I know uh, I did see it played. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, So we're going to play this out. Uh, we'll hit for white because it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and basic conjuring. Pull the Winota. Uh, and we'll play the Spellbinder this turn. Again, I'm just not positive the best way to do this. Um, Okay, so I think it's the plume. Yeah, I think that's the card we need to take. Um, they can still play it, I suppose, but we'll see. I don't know. I could be very wrong in doing this, but we're going to try. Uh, sure. Obviously thinking they still have an extra turn here, and they might. I don't know. Uh, no blocks. We could just die from our own Winota. That's worth noting. Uh, if we do hit kind of the wrong things here. Uh, Alright. Let's just do it. Let's just see what happens, right? Let's hit this. I'm going to take the Lovestruck Beast. Hit the Blade Historian, and hit another Winota, just because it gets to attack, so why not? So now these all have Double Strike, but crucially, they do hit us for a lot of damage by blocking us, so uh, we'll see. I'm not sold. <laughs> I'm not sold at all. Um, So they're going to hit us for quite a bit of damage here. How many times does that proc it? <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, let's play a Gilded Goose. <laughs> Perfect. Worth trying. It's got to be worth trying. Um, maybe it should have been the hunt that we took, but... I have no idea. That's scary. Yep.
Okay, we might be able to kind of pull some some tricks out here. Um Let's boss race, Lieutenant. Okay, now, um... Oh no, we missed. That's fine. Maybe? I'm trying to play around a little bit here, and I don't know if that's 100% correct, but we're, we're trying. Uh, we do have the the food token. If we don't die this turn, we can gain at least a little bit of life back. But uh, the spellbinders are kind of what I'm counting on to to get us out of this. Um, I was kind of hoping to hit something off a of Gilded Goose, but it, it may have been good that we didn't. Honestly, I just wanted to hit another spellbinder. If we could have hit one more, we actually would have uh, theoretically won. Um, okay, do we just die then? Right, we do. Man, that was pretty, that was silly. Uh, you know what though? It was a fun time. Guys, I really do appreciate you watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the deck. I do think this has some legs in standard. I think it's much more suited for historic. There's a lot more options that open up there, but regardless, this is just a really, really fun combo. If you've never played with Winota before, She's back in full swing, guys. Enjoy it. I hope you are enjoying Strixhaven. Uh, I think it's such a fun new set. It's great to see a bunch of new things coming down the pipeline as well. Uh, but th guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We will try and stream tomorrow, but I just wanted to get something up for you guys just in case uh, so we at least had a little bit more content up today. But thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.